to do a uh, short video on collar choke from Mal. Uh, I'm going to show a version of the collar choke that I like because it uh, it takes care of one of the common problems in working a collar choke from Mal. And the common problem is you get your arms in and you get to this point and the guy does a hoopa and then you either get rolled or you have to pull your arms out. So this is a version of the collar choke uh, that takes away the bottom guy's hoopa. And so I'm going to show you the arm positions first and I'm going to back out and build the choke. So watch my arm positions here. So arm and head, arm and head. So pay attention to my uh, elbow, my hand, and my head in both positions. Alright, now let's apply the grips to that. So the first one I'm going to get my grip in. Uh, and I don't like getting the grip from up high right here because I'm afraid of getting rolled. So I'm going to put my head on the mat, line my arm next to his head, and then I'm going to fit the grip in. So like this, grab the collar and I move so you can see it's uh, fingers in like that and you can see my, my arm lining his head. So that's how you get the first grip, fingers in. Head on the mat keeps you from getting open. Here. Now when I'm ready to go to the second grip, I'm going to sit up tall move my elbow in real tight and then I'm going to switch my head to the other side. So watch. Sit up tall, move my elbow in real tight and then my head goes to the other side. Now when I'm here, again, I'm, because my head's on the mat, the hoop is not really a good possibility. So now, I'm going to line his head with my hand again and I'm going thumb in. Like that. Here, there. And when I'm ready to finish, I'm going to take my elbow and I'm going to shove his head a little bit to open his neck up. Bring my elbow in and then drop. So I'll do the whole thing fast. Alright, so let's look at a couple of details. So the first one, when you get the first hand in, it's important that the elbow stays on this side of the center line. So watch my elbow when I sit up. Here is not good. Here is good. Uh, and the reason I go here is watch how it lifts his neck and his back. Here, see that? How it lifts him up right there? Uh, it, there's more pressure here like that. So keep your elbow in tight. Head goes down. Posting hand. This one goes thumb in. Sit up tall and then make your elbows touch each other like that and then go back down and you should get a pretty quick choke like that. So the elbows on the choking come like this. They don't drive out. They come together and move towards the hips. Um, an alternative version of the choke because some people have trouble with the second hand uh, making the choke happen is to change the angle from this to this one and I'll show you the second uh, version. So here, instead of bringing my elbow all the way in, I'm going to keep it at 90 degrees, and I'm going to drive my elbow down. So I'm going to try to make my elbow touch the mat, and then I'm going to drive it towards his ear. So I'm going to go down towards the mat, and then drive it up towards his ear like that. So that's an alternative version. It's more like a paper cutter chew. And some people find that one easier to go. And so the pressure on this one is down and up like that. This one stays exactly the same. So all in all, what makes this choke work is that your head is on the mat most of the time, uh, preventing him from getting a really nice hoop. So one more time. Tight. Four. 